can see the chequered flag first once again in Formula One. Max Verstappen is the winner. That was an absolute thriller. And if you ask me right now, I would say this was the race of 2023. Yes, we had Singapore. Yes, we had Zandvoort. But this was dry, no safety cars, pure racing, only a two second difference with some fallacies we will talk about. But a lot of competitive teams, Aston Martin back up, Ferrari did amazing, Mercedes choked it, McLaren was great, but most of all, what the, Max is just something else, man. Max is insane. But I wanna analyze the whole race. Let's talk about the big teams and everybody, really the biggest outliers from the race. Firstly, I wanna say congrats to every team here. Every team is improving, 2024 is looking so good. And everybody kept it clean into turn one, with the exception of Alcon and Piastri, and I do put that on Alcon a little bit. It was a race racing incident in my personal opinion, but I think Alcon was a little too ambitious there. Piastri kind of had the line. I think Alcon should have backed out. A lot of drivers were backing out, but yet again, sad from Piastri. He didn't have the greatest weekend. I predicted it, but he didn't have the greatest weekend. Overall though, Lewis and Max. Wow, I mean, thrilling drives from the both of them. In my personal opinion, now Lando had a good drive. I agree, he had a good drive. Was he driver of the day? I don't think so. I think the split should be between three or four different drivers. Max and Lewis to me are the top guys here. I think Lewis was phenomenal. I think Mercedes choked the race for Lewis. I think without those pit stops that were both over three seconds, also making him pit two laps later really compromised his race. Lewis had this dude with the brake issue we would have finally had a Lewis victory. I mean, not to say I'm not happy with Max winning, but come on. I wanted Lewis or Lando to win this. I was the whole time on the edge of my chair thinking they're gonna go for one stop. They're gonna trick the whole entire grid, but they didn't even go for the one stop. They went with the two stop, which was the right choice in hindsight. It didn't look like that, but it was the right choice, but they pitted late. The first pit stop was late. Lewis had this in the bag. He was much quicker than Lando. I think Lando could have conserved his tires a little bit better. Maybe the car wasn't there, but I don't think this was Lando's best drive. Personally, I think he might have been a little too extreme on his tires. He should have defended Max for a little bit longer. I think the way that he defended it wasn't correct, but not to say it wasn't a good drive. I don't want to say much for him. I want him to win, man. I was cheering for Lando the whole entire time. I was cheering for Lando. I was cheering for Lewis at some point. I was happy for Max. It's a whole nother story. But as I said, those two to me really stood out. Lance had an incredible drive. I know we've been bashing him all year, but hey, the upgrades worked. The actual car on the last lap was quicker than the Mercedes. So I don't know, is Aston back? We shall see from Mexico where they optimize their strategy. They went from the pit lane. If it wasn't for Alonso's, like apparently the floor broke in half completely. So if it wasn't for that happening, Alonso and Stroll would have both had points and I think their drives were so impressive. From the pit lane, they had to overtake a bunch of people. Lance was super consistent, super good. I guess Coda is just a great place for Lance. He loves it here and he does a good job. Also for Alonso, last year, car practically flies up in the air and nothing breaks, but this year from some floor damage, he has to retire. So just your classic Alonso luck in a particular race. Regardless, congrats to the boys over there. Looks like the upgrades are working. Recency bias was kicking in. I was like, oh my God, dude, these guys are sucking right now, but they pulled it around. McLaren have a lot to look forward to. I think this track wasn't very suited to their car in some ways in sector three, still pulled through with a very mega result, but Mercedes, that's the biggest talking point I think right now. Looking at Lewis Hamilton, by the way, George was nowhere. So did they go in more of a Lewis direction? Is that better for the car? I don't know, you tell me. George is nowhere. This new floor brought more performance. Do I think without the brake issue, they were there? No. I don't think they were far off though, because I think Max was losing time in turns 11, 12, and 16, I think they said it was the times, which are the slow speed corners where he needed to brake harder. Now let's say he was getting more performance there. Would he have had probably like another 10th or two on Lewis? I do think so, but that's still not to say they were at some point nine, 10, nine tenths to a second down at the beginning of the year, now being two tenths going into 2024, it's gonna be really tight. Yes, the RB20 is gonna be fast, but we got a lot, a lot to look forward to. This is very exciting. This race was exactly what you want out of a Formula One race. The pit stop strategies were beautiful. Constant pit stops, constant overtakes. 
fighting through like half the lap. Yuki Sonoda got a point. I forgot to even bring up the guy. Yuki got a point. Phenomenal from him. Daniel was put on a trash strategy, so I'm not really going to count Daniel. They went with the one stop. Clearly that didn't work. Leclerc dropped back like a stone. Carlos was great in the race, but Leclerc was good too. They had him on a bad strategy. Perez, he did okay. I, he was actually faster than Max at some points, which I find funny. I got to give it to Perez. He did pretty okay. Everybody had a pretty good drive. Alpha was nowhere to be seen. Haas, as I predicted, the upgrades really didn't, didn't do much for the car. They were still shredding through like butter, like hot knife with the butter. Those tires were nowhere. Those two teams have just been really desolate. Logan had a good race in his home, not hometown, but hometown for him is Miami, still home country. Logan was good. Good for Logan. He had a terrible qualifying, terrible, terrible sprint. To improve like this, that's big, that's mega. Williams was actually close to points too. There was a lot of big things here. Towards the end of the race, Lewis was catching big time. As I said, without the pit stops, Lewis would have won this race. Lando was close. They should have gambled on the one stop. I don't think they would have lost much. He still would have finished third from the looks of it. I don't know what was happening with this tire. He was like seven, eight seconds behind Lewis on the very last lap. So the actual Aston Martin car was faster than the McLaren car here. Believe it or not, with the upgrades, it was. So we'll have to see in Mexico what comes out because I think Mexico will be even closer than the Circuit of Americas here. All because it's a completely different track when it comes to that altitude and what we should expect. We're in for another thriller. I think the second half of the season has been delivering for us fans, but just in general for Formula One, if you've started watching from the second half, you've been thoroughly enjoying the season. With the exception of maybe Japan, I would say every race has brought us something to talk about and just in general to look forward into the future because it won't just be Max winning constantly. Regardless, Max just, he's just that guy with brake mess ups, with the car not feeling how he wants to, still overtaking like a beast, being patient with it, but also a couple of late lunges. I mean like, hate him or not, you, you, you can't, how do you hate a driver performing that well in the race? You can be a Lewis fan and still respect what Max is doing. It's phenomenal watching. I mean, we gotta be blessed to have Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen driving for us in these Grand Prix and actually seeing it. Now, being able to see another 2021 and 24 would be even better for our eyes, but you can't hate either of them. In my personal opinion, it's hard to hate any drivers really on the grid. They're all great. They all do a good job. And this race was very thrilling, very excited, had me on the edge of my seat the whole time, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. I want some thorough comments. Tell me what you guys thought of the Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix and let me hear it. Also subscribe and like if you haven't. You guys mean the world and peace.